distinguished delegation. As I said before, you are most welcome to Uganda for your second visit. from your visit to Uganda. And we are very happy that we contributed in a small way to, to your elevation to that high office. Those who don't know the Prime Minister well, I've been following what he has been doing. He has brought a lot of changes in India, which have made India to move very fast. By, by bringing a business-oriented approach to the management of public affairs in India. Instead of worshiping bureaucracy, he promotes efficiency and innovation. And that's what has made India to, to be one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Therefore, we are very happy to receive you here as an old friend, and we have been busy discussing what we can do hereafter from now on. I've met him before when we went for the Africa-India Summit in India, New Delhi, and also we met, we met recently in Chogum in, in London in the Buckingham Palace and at uh, Windsor Castle. In our discussion today, as usual, on our side, we emphasized trade, investment, and tourism. Because these are the three things that can put people together. Where we work for mutual prosperity, where we can support the prosperity of the Indian people by buying their products and they can support our prosperity by buying our products. On the side of trade, there has been an imbalance, but it's going down. It's going down because Uganda now is importing less globally, not just from India, because we are a bit more self-sufficient. In, in uh, 2015, our imports from India were $1.2 billion. But today, they are $736 million. So that means the import, importing is, is, is less. The exports are going up, but slowly, to $44 million compared to $24 million in 2015. I had a very good discussion with the Prime Minister how to enhance this, how uh, India can work with Uganda to promote more saves into, into India. One of the easiest ways, there are two easiest ways. One is to bring Indian tourists here. Because if the Indian tourists come here, then they, they leave dollars here. And those dollars will help in balancing uh, the, 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 trade, the trade accounts. In order to promote tourism, we, we are going to revive Uganda Airlines 
and uh, I will ask the Prime Minister to allow us to fly to Bombay. I don't want to go to other towns, <laughs> which I don't know very well, but the town I know very well where my, my tribesmen come from, my Indian tribes, they come from mainly Bombay, so that's where I will go for. I know there are other Indian cities, but once we get to Bombay, they can take care of themselves. For us, we just stop in Bombay and come back or go to Dubai and come to Bombay or something like that, some, uh, some arrangement. Uh, so that will be able to deal with tourism, the tourism side. And that will bring in Indian tourists here. Uh, as you can see, Prime Minister, the climate here is very good. Uh, that Indian heat which you have in India, please tell them to come here. For, for the summer, and then they go back when it rains. Uh, then on the, um, the, the, the on, on the side of of health care, the prime minister is uh, proposing that some Indian groups come and and invest here in health care. And you know what that would mean, because uh, many of our people go to India for medical, for medical uh, care. So if some of that was here, then that uh, exodus w would, be, would be less. India has offered us $200 million worth of, cre of credit. And we can use this money to buy some products from India. When we went for the Africa-India Summit, he offered uh, uh, a credit of $10 billion. I don't think we have used it. I don't think Uganda has used it very much. I think we have been asleep on our side. We have not used it much. So what I have proposed to him is that we could look at three areas. There are transmission lines of electricity which we can use that money to build some of them. But also, we have the, the, the machine. They, have, they make very good machinery, factory parts in India for fruit processing, for maize, gra maize, meal, gra uh, milling, maize milling, for animal feed making, for... Uh, making shoes, making uh, uh, textiles. We, we have a lot of those products. I would like to use part of this credit to import those for our business people. The UDB, Uganda Development Bank, should establish a line of some relationship where they can oversee that, uh, the use of that money to bring equipment for value addition here. We need to, to buy, to cover the whole spectrum of value addition. Whatever India makes, we should import in the form of value addition machinery. And then the issue of solar powered water pumps. That one, we have already made a decision that all the solar powered water pumps, which we need for irrigation here, will either be assembled here or manufactured here. So again, we can work with the Indian teams on this one and maybe use some of this credit. The Prime Minister is open on this. He says, you establish your priorities. The pri you are the one who knows who know the pri priorities best. For, for us, we shall, we, we shall follow. The, the Prime Minister has offered to build uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was a nationalist, a freedom fighter from India, but who started his freedom fighting in South Africa. He was a lawyer in South Africa, and, and when he faced racism there, he, re he, he, he opposed it and started opposing racism in South Africa. And then he went back to India and started uh, the freedom movement there. When he died, his ashes were, part of his ashes were immersed at Jinja, 
the source of the Nile. And uh, the, the Prime Minister has offered uh, a convention center in the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. Now, the original idea was that the convention center could be in, in Kampala, but with more discussion, we are now gravitating towards uh, either conventions, something, something, but certainly a tourism uh, center at the source of the Nile in Jinja, where people can come both for tourism but also as pilgrimage to, to, the, to the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. Then you had the, the issue on defense. We shall cooperate with the Indian uh, Minister of Defense in a number of training areas. And uh, 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 the details are in the, in the protocol. So I want to welcome the Prime Minister here and thank him for the cooperation uh, between Uganda and India and between Africa and India. When we are fighting for colonialism, against colonialism, we work together. With the, our, our elders worked with the, 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 with the, with the Jawaharlal Nehru. He supported our people a lot when we were fighting for freedom. Now we are working together to develop the third world so that the, the third world also becomes part of the first world. And I'm very happy to be working with the Prime Minister and I now invite him to give you his words of wisdom. Thank you very much. His Excellency, President Museveni, respected delegates, members of the media. This is my pleasure that after two countries, the first Prime Minister of the Dvipakshiya Yatra has come to my Uganda. President Museveni, भारत के बहुत पुराने मित्र हैं मेरा भी उनसे बहुत पुराना परिचय है 2007 में जब मैं गुजरात के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में यहां आया था उस यात्रा की मधुर यादें आज भी ताजा है और आज राष्ट्रपति जी के उदार शब्दों और हमारे गर्मजोशी भरे स्वागत सत्कार और सम्मान के लिए मैं उनका हृदय से आभार प्रकट करता हूं फ्रेंड्स भारत और युगांडा के बीच सदियों पुराने तथा ऐतिहासिक संबंध समय की कसौटी पर खरे उतरे हैं युगांडा हमेशा हमारे दिलों के करीब रहा है और रहेगा युगांडा की आर्थिक प्रगति और राष्ट्रीय विकास के प्रयासों में भारत हमेशा साथ रहा है ट्रेनिंग कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आदि हमारे सहयोग के प्रमुख क्षेत्र रहे हैं भविष्य में भी हम युगांडा की आवश्यकताओं और प्राथमिकताओं के अनुसार अपना सहयोग जारी रखेंगे युगांडा की जनता के प्रति हमारी मित्रता की अभिव्यक्ति के रूप में भारत सरकार ने युगांडा कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट कंपाला को एक अत्याधुनिक कैंसर थेरेपी मशीन गिफ्ट करने का निर्णय लिया है 
मुझे यह जानकर खुशी है कि इस मशीन से न केवल हमारे उगांडा के मित्रों की बल्कि पूरी बल्कि पूर्वी अफ्रीकी देशों के मित्रों की भी जरूरत पूरी होगी युगांडा में एनर्जी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और कृषि तथा डेयरी सेक्टर के विकास के लिए हमने लगभग 200 मिलियन डॉलर्स की दो लाइन्स ऑफ क्रेडिट के प्रस्तावों को मंजूरी दी है यह संतोष का विषय है कि रक्षा क्षेत्र में भी हमारा सहयोग आगे बढ़ रहा है मिलिट्री ट्रेनिंग में हमारे सहयोग का लंबा इतिहास है हम इस सहयोग को और अधिक मजबूत करने के लिए तैयार हैं हमने युगांडा सेना के लिए और सिविल कामों के लिए व्हीकल्स और एम्बुलेंसेस देने का निर्णय भी लिया है ट्रेड एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट में हमारे संबंध मजबूत हो रहे हैं कल राष्ट्रपति जी के साथ मिलकर मुझे दोनों देशों के प्रमुख बिजनेस लीडर के साथ मिलकर इन संबंधों को और अधिक बल देने पर चर्चा करने का अवसर मिलेगा फ्रेंड्स युगांडा में रहने वाले भारतीय मूल के समाज के प्रति राष्ट्रपति जी के स्नेह के लिए मैं उनका हृदय से आभार प्रकट करता हूं एक कठिन समय के बाद राष्ट्रपति जी के कुशल और मजबूत नेतृत्व में आज भारतीय मूल का समाज युगांडा के सामाजिक और आर्थिक जीवन में भरपूर योगदान दे रहा है कि आज शाम भारतीय मूल के समाज के साथ मेरे कार्यक्रम में राष्ट्रपति जी स्वयं शामिल होंगे उनके इस स्पेशल जेस्टर के लिए मैं पूरे भारत की ओर से उनका अभिनंदन करता हूं कल सुबह मुझे युगांडा के कल सुबह मुझे युगांडा के संसद को संबोधित करने का सौभाग्य भी मिलेगा यह सौभाग्य पाने वाला मैं भारत का पहला प्रधानमंत्री हूं इस विशेष सम्मान के लिए मैं राष्ट्रपति जी का और युगांडा की संसद का हृदय से आभार प्रकट करता हूं फ्रेंड्स भारत और युगांडा दोनों युवा प्रधान देश दोनों सरकारों पर युवाओं की आकांक्षाओं को पूरा करने की जिम्मेदारी और इन प्रयास में हम एक दूसरे के साथ सहयोग करने के लिए पूरी तरह प्रतिबद्ध है सवा सौ करोड़ भारतीयों की ओर से मैं युगांडा के लोगों की प्रगति के और समृद्धि के लिए हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देता बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद